Hello, I am Jenny the Artsy Rose, and welcome back to... Well, welcome back to part two of the prologue for Destiny Ninja 2. Now, I'm just wondering, about this legend, is this supposed to be a sequel to the... Is the legend... Is the legend that this game is talking about supposed to be what the first game was supposed to be about? Because I'm really new to all this, I don't know what... I don't know the whole deal. Uh, I hope you can bear with me on that. Well? Shall we begin? Have you equipped yourself with a long journey? Since you are to be coming of age, you should pay attention to your appearance. Once you get ready, then let us move on. I had, this, I had to stop the recording for this moment because, uh... Uh, my phone is running out of space. Ren leans in to look at me in the eye. W what is it? I'm the one going with you, right? Uh, huh? W well... Ren, don't jump the gun! That's up to Ayami to... That's up to... That's up to Ayami to decide. Oh, you wanna go too? Then Kiku and I will go. Nobody can beat us brothers together. Do you really need two more bodyguards? He does have a point. I think I'll be fine with Ren and... Kuyukiko coming with me, but... Wait a second, Ren. Let's hear what everyone else has to, has to say. Hey, Ren. Don't decide things on your own. Look at Kiku. You're giving him trouble again. Pushing Ren aside, this time Keito... The uh, Kato sticks his face closer to mine. Speaking of physical strength, I'm at the same level as they are. Aren't I right, Ayami? Yeah, I know how strong you are, but still. It's a deal. No one can protect Ayami but me. What? Hey, that's not fair. If, K if Kato's going, I'm going too. Patting Shiroya jumps onto Kato Kato's back. Stop it, Shiroya! Shiroya! You're not my jacket! Me, Kato, Ran, and Miko. Me, Kato, Ran, and Kiko. We'll make the perfect floor for you! I guess? Carried away by Ran and Shiroya's excited talk, I found myself almost nodding. Kato, you just want to have our all to yourself, don't you? Obviously, yes. I can't leave a yummy in other guys' hands. Uh, um, excuse me. I haven't decided yet. Keep yourselves out of this. Country bra country breeds. <laughs> With that, the entire scene sink the entire scene sinks into silence. Kato ran and the others, who looked like they were having fun, having fun from having fun talking with each other, now have a deep crisp between their eyebrows. Oh no! I'm about to say something to calm them down. Since in an explosive situation, when Aya says, You don't listen to Ayami, but just drag her into your useless fights. How vulgar. Absolutely, I'm tired of you country breeds already. What did you- I don't think we could let you go with that remark. Oh, not again. Look, everyone, please calm down and- Ayami, don't take these shameless country folk with you. Take us instead. Kikyo is right. Choosing the country gang will only bring disgrace on the house of Kishinada. Hey, what do you mean by that? Take it back now! I think someone who calls other people country breeds and the like is more vulgar than the actual country breeds. What did you just say? Exact relax, Yuya. Perhaps they know perhaps they don't know the meaning of barking do barking dogs seldom bite. We should feel sorry for them. Rindo goes to intervene them, glaring at each glaring at each other. Now, now, enough fighting for one day. It's been a while since we all got together, but you never change, do you? Please don't stop us, Mr. Rin. No matter how you look at, they're the ones who started it. These snobbish nose, these snobbish. Sorry, please, please forgive me. 
this number so-called city breeds? We've done nothing wrong, we just point out that you country breeds must know your place. It's always you that tries to pick a fight with us, isn't it, Yuya? Yeah, 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 you are. Okay, stop. He pulls apart the guys on the verge of gripping, of grappling, and then strains a smile on his face. Sorry, little Ayami. Oh, please, don't be. It's not your fault. I promise I'll give him a lecture later. So, Renan mm -hmm. takes my hand like it's the most natural thing natural thing to do in the world. Renta? No matter who you're taking with you, you'll need someone to look after them. Don't you agree? I mean, they don't always know if those nursery school ninjas will listen to you when they... when you need them most. You have a point. They always split themselves up into two groups. The spring and autumn villages versus the summer and winter villages. The spring and autumn villages are big, rapidly advancing cities. On the other hand, the summer and winter villages value their passed down traditions of the countryside. The spring and autumn villages are in good terms with each other, and the summer and winter villages are too, but teaming up always seems to cause a fight. Every time they cannot respect each other and oppose each other, Oppose against each other. Renda, who is the oldest among the ninja, always intercedes. See? Which is why I'm going with you. What? Mr. Ren! We see right through you, you know! Don't be so Don't be so sneaky, Mr. Ren! Idiots. I'm only going as a babysitter. You see what my clear eyes hold? Huh? Pure concern for Ayami. Uh, your eyes may be clear, but your hands... They're holding onto Ayami's... For Quite a while now. Renda, you're making it pretty evident that you just want to look after Ayami. Hey! Can't you see I need some backup here? Yayu, Yayu, come on! Every one of them comes to me one by one and tries to draw my attention endlessly. This is getting nowhere. Hey everyone, please listen! You, you haven't said a single, ah, you, you haven't said a single word this whole time. Why don't you at least try telling her to take the descendant, take the descendant of the legendary ninja Hanzo, Hatori Hanzo, Kazimasa with her, or something like that. Otherwise, why are you here in the first place? This has nothing to do with my ancestor. Who's going with her is all up to her. Amy's eyes stare into mine. But I do want to go on a trip with Ayami. Oh, are you? Ayami. Are you, who had been watching the uproar in a quiet manner, seems to have been on the same box all along. I agree with you, are you, though. Ayami is the one to choose. With his remark, everyone stops coilery and, return and turns my way. Huh? Ayami, choose me. I'll protect you no matter what. <laughs> I'll be the best and the only bodyguard for you. Take me with you, Ayami. Taking me won't hurt you, will it? I'll definitely make it a fun trip for you. Ran, we are not exactly talking about a fun trip here. But if you are taking Ran with you, I'd love to go together. Ayami, will you choose me? You will choose me, won't you? I think you'll be better off if you choose us, not the country breeds. A smart woman like you would probably know which is the better group to take by now. A smart woman will choose the country breeds. And there you go picking fights again. As for me, I'm already in, unmistakably. You're slipping yourself in, Mr. Rin. You can't trust these guys, Ayami. Pick me. That's up to Ayami. But I hope to be in. <laughs> okay, so let's have a let's have a look at this. They are all <laughs> oh my lord, they are all literally grabbing hold on her. I have to take a picture of this. 
Tim. Look at, look at, look at the little guy. You have, he is literally, he's literally, he is all over her waist right there. He looks very cute. <laughs> If I had to choose, I would... I went, uh... Yayoi, although... I feel like it's not for picking him, though, because... He seems like... Oh, 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 no, I can't do that. He seems like a real snob. Oh, well, look at that! It did it for me, and I... <laughs> enough is enough! Hey! That's enough! Dang! I slip the, the tummy mat and everyone freezes in shock with his eyes wide open. Do you really understand that Yamato- Yamato Island is in danger? Uh, uh, of course. We do. Really? You almost made me think you love arguing more than our island! Little Ayami, but we- Rindo, not now. We're on a mission that will decide the fate of the island we live in. We are currently holding in our hands all the lives on this island, not just ours. And still, all you would suggest is rather or not to take one or the other with you. Take one or the other of you. Is that all you think about, honestly? Under this tense situation? Hey, don't be so upset, Ayami. Yes. Don't put that scary look on your face. That look is gonna ruin your pretty face, Ayami. We are not talking about- WE ARE NOT TALKING ABOUT MY FACE RIGHT NOW! As soon as I gave Ran a quick glance, he swiftly hides behind. Foyukiku. Are you aware of the fact that you are the descendants of the legendary ninjas who contributed so much for Fo- Yamato- Yamato Island's prosper prosperity? This is enough shamelessness to make you unable to look your ancestors in the face! Here comes the- Quiet preacher Ayami. We aren't a we aren't supposed to make her angry. I totally forgot about that. Hey, I hear you! As I state in as I state that in a low voice, I see all eight frozen ninjas' shoulders jump up in shock. I I think your beauty is what's making you look more uh, uh, appealing. Yeah, that part of you is actually attractive. Considering the strong spirited side of you your virtue, Ayami. No matter what kind of face she makes, Ayami is always pretty. I agree. Everyone looks at each other and nods. They are fighting and they were fighting until a minute ago. And I am the only one they can be in perfect harmony about? Uh, does this mean they're impossible to be with each other? Does this mean they're impossible to be with each other? Or does this mean they're getting along? Give me a break already. Having sighed deeply, I look around their faces once again. But, I know that they are trustworthy. What should I do? Who should I take with me? As I look at the eight men, deeply thinking, somehow a sense of uneasiness darts to spread in my mind. I have a hunch that this choice is going to have a great influence on our destiny. Yamato Island is in our hands, huh? Well, it'll be easy for us. Then we must do... What we must do first and foremost is to find out the cause of this, isn't it? Right. We will find ways to get around the pollution of the symbols once we know its cause. Akiyashis. I wonder what they're like. Take it easy. No need to complicate things. Now's our chance to prove we're the best fighters. Guys, whatever the cause is, our first priority is to protect Ayami. Thank you, everyone. No matter how often they fight with each other, they know what they have to do. Sure, we'll be alright. Okay, I've decided. Everyone sits up alright. Everyone sits up straight and gives me an intent look. The one I choose to accompany me is... Now, I have told you all that you need to know. These are some gifts for me. I hope they are useful. I heard that one... I heard that one story ticket will be restored every four hours. 
or I can restore them with items too. I hope this journey bears fruit. Shiroya is, a, is cute, but so far the person that's made the best impression, the first, the person that's made a good impression on me is Ayu because he didn't bicker so much. So since I can't pick a Yayui, I am I'm thinking about choosing him. Oh, well. He just likes sweets. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a sweet tooth. Hatari Hanzo Ayu. Do you know that he shares the same name as a notorious Hanzo Hatari of the Tokugawa of the Tokugawa clan? Well, he's actually from the Iga clan. He's of the Iga clan, but he served Tokugawa Ieyasu back in the Sengoku period. Lex. Net likes books, nature, trend, trend, like the fat the latest fashion trend. Dislikes sweets. Abby, reading. I'm trying to read. Um, Spring Village. Noble and respected ninja that is free as the wind. Ayu is the son of the Spring Village Chifitan. His ancestor is Kazamasi. Kazimasa from the Wind Village. Ayu is a quiet and reserved person who does not express his feelings. Coming from the famous Hotori family, Ayu is expected to be a successful ninja by many of his relatives. Although he is a highly talented ninja, Ayu does not appreciate him being doesn't appreciate him being associated with his family background. It is the very reason why he resigned from being appointed to be the next chieftain. Hmm. Yayui is the one to whom Ayu opens up to. Opens up for opens up. For he has shown Ayoi since he was a child. For he has known Ayoi since he was a child. Keita, despite of having similar background, has a different personality and Ayu is envious of Kato for that, of that reason. Decided yet? I'm not so sure who I'm gonna pick. I've chosen Ayu for my travel companion. He is a quiet man who doesn't talk much about himself. His facial expression always stays the same, but when he smiles, it shines like a jewel that gives me strong support. His smile enables me to embrace hardships in life. Following his quick, his quiet reply, he takes off. He takes off walking at a brisk pace. His lack of hesitation leaves not only myself, but the other three speechless. I guess I cannot... I guess I can forget convincing him to put me down. As embarrassed as I am, I resign myself from letting Ayu carry me back. Good girl. Ayu pauses a moment to smile at me. Careful. I'm walking along lost in my own thought, while Ayu lightly tugs at my hand. Just as he does, a large horse-drawn carriage passes by us. Oh, thanks! I thank him, then turn to find him faintly smiling at me. Ayami, your hair is covered in flower petals. He begins gently caressing my face to remove them. Caressing my hair to remove them. I stand there with my heart racing it as I stare back at this particularly, this particularly charming smile. I don't, want to, I don't want you to see me crying. You'll have to forgive me, but... I you lightly touches his hand to mine? I want to see all of your faces. What? 
You're very pretty, even when you cry. After surprising me with my, that remark, he kisses my forehead several times. You shouldn't have to die simply because fate says so. He softly caresses my cheek, wiping away my tears with his hand. You embark, embarked on this journey so you could change your fate, didn't you? If that's true, then let me fulfill mine. First, I didn't understand him at all, but he has started to grow on me as I learn more about him. I've waited for him my whole life. With him, I can save the world. Let's go find out. I don't really know. He's not bad. Let me check out the others. Traditional customs of the winter village. Hobby stargazing home, winter island, loved by God, but in a shell and forever alone. Son of the winter village chieftain, who has been chosen? Who has been chosen for the next chieftain candidate? People worship him because he is believed to be a child that is loved by God, which he simply disregards. His calm nature and soft manner seemed amiable. But some say that those qualifications are to disguise his true, name, his true self. He has made good friends with Keto, Shiruya and Ran, his brother. But what is the truth behind? My partner for this journey is Fuyukiko. He may look similar to Ran, but his personality is the complete opposite. Caring, amiable, reliable. Those are the words people use to describe him, but nobody knows his true self. The more I learn about him, the more he grows on me. As if his thoughts are still hazy, still fuzzy. He stares at me with a deep crest in his brow. Sorry, did I wake you up? Um, I'm really sorry, I'll go now. I quickly apologize, but Fuyukiko rubs his eyes to say nothing. Um, Keiko? Um, he must still be sleepy as his eyelids look heavy as he blinks sluggishly. He startled me when he frowned at me like that, but it was cute. Okay, Keiko, up and up. What? I hold the spoon out and grin at the apparently confused at a compar- at a compar- apparently confused Fuyukiko Come on, eat! The ice cream is going to melt! Uh, yummy! What are you trying to do? What? Why would I? I just want you to have some! Fuyukiko, being troubled, hesitantly opens his mouth. After slowly slavering a spoonful of parfait, he smiley- he smiles merrily, but was kind of a- unexpected. Likes all kinds of food. Dislikes hide. Is he afraid of heights? Because I'm afraid of heights too. Hobby? Swimming. Home? Summer Island. 
a genius fire wielding ninja who surpasses his who surpasses his ancestor. Kaito is the only son of the Summer Village chieftain. His ancestor is Anya from the Fire Island. Fire Village. He has. <laughs> what am I? What am I thinking of? Avatar. Uh, I've never seen Avatar. He has an innate ability of wielding fire and is regarded as the second Anya by the villagers. However, as a genius ninja, he is not happy to be playing second. He feels a strong sense of rivalry with the big cities, Spring Village and Fall Village, where villagers look down on his village as the countryside. However, their ninja skills are actually on an equal footing. He doesn't get along with Kikyo. I choose Keito, a ninja from the Summer Island, from the Summer Village, as my partner for this country, for this journey. Though being quick to get heated sometimes, Keito is kind, is a kind and charismatic person who has promised to become the next chieftain of the of the Summer Village. We will get to know our ancestors. We will get to know about our ancestors and face them along this journey. It's true that it's our ancestors' bond that connects us. But I didn't choose you, just because you're the descendant of Lord Anya. I, I made up my mind to choose you right at the moment my eyes met with yours. Don't put me in the same pool as the people who don't even try to see you. Uh, yummy. I'll stay by your side to protect you forever. No matter how trying or painful our path may be, I'll keep you safe, Yummy. So hang loose. You don't have to hold back your tears. Come to me when you're ready for crying. I'll be ready any time to hold you like this. Then, I ask Lady Ayami first in person. What? I'm afraid to tell you, but people are saying that the field of resurrection lilies is the closest place to another world. Although I can't vouch for the truth of it, I heard that you can meet spirits of the dead. Okay, I'll be sure to protect Ayami. I'm glad that you are the one for Lady Ayami. You're such a tough woman. You... You don't like a tough woman? Well... I love you all the more for that. Are you determined to start with Keita? Uh... I still haven't made up my mind. Uh... Well, this is... This video is getting long enough. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Where we will look at the other trailer. And hopefully I'll have made up my mind. I am Dandy the Artsy Rose and I'll see you in part three. Bye.